What's going on guys? Welcome back to Mystery Box Monday. Yes, that's another awesome week and if I could just get your time for just a minute before we start, I would just like to say we are almost at a thousand subscribers and that is absolutely incredible. I'd never thought that my channel would actually reach a thousand subscribers. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another giveaway. When we hit 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to do another very, very awesome giveaway and I'm going to throw in a few very special items. So uh, yeah, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, do all of that sort of stuff. Get yourself ready because in a few weeks, with any luck, we will be doing a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So get excited and let's get into it. Yes, Mystery Box! All right, guys, I hope everybody's had a fantastic week. I hope you're all really excited about this. As you can see, there's a couple of brand new cars in here. There's only a couple of Hot Wheels, a uh, little matchbox there. But as you can see, there's something very, very cool there. Uh, got a couple of, got something brand new from Hot Wheels off to the side and something also brand new uh, with a different brand off to the other side. So kick back, relax, and let's get started with a matchbox moving part yes i do quite enjoy these matchbox moving parts series and this is the 2006 ford crown victoria taxi version as you can see it has the opening door and these very odd shaped hourglass cards and there's a quick look at the back there not too much information on international cards but let's check this out wow nice bright yellow still has the police ram bar on the front there as you know this is also used as a police vehicle that's so cool metro to airport and you get these hubcap style wheels not too much in the way of details but we do get the light bar on the top for the taxi oh that is pretty cool and as you can see it has got a little computer and sorts of stuff inside there absolutely awesome uh, the only problem I have with the taxis is just you can see that the seat is kind of a half seat so that is my only problem with the uh, the matchbox moving parts if it's a rear door you get half seats in there so uh, we might open that one up next week and check it out a little bit closer because it, it does look pretty pretty cool let's move this camera just up a little bit there we go Get some cars on the back display there yes all right let's get into a hot wheels let's see what we have Ooh, that's right the new color variation of the magnus walker urban outlaw porsche 935 and this one has the red base with the gray wheels and the blue tempo on top the other version was red colors on top where the blues are gold wheels and it also had a blue base very nice it had the same wheels they were just a, a shiny gold and here we go as you can see magnus walker 277 urban outlaw on the top and has the rear lensed tail lights absolutely absolutely awesome and you get those little lens headlights on the front there too part of the window piece and that red base looks really cool gives you a little bit of extra color wow very cool Let's put this guy up here. Excellent. All right, what have we got next? What have we got next? This not, this has got to stand. There we go. Ah, uh, yes. The new color of the Jaguar S, Jaguar XESV Project 8. Wow. And it's got these terrible wheels, but because they're all black, they don't look too bad. And as you can see, this is a shiny, shiny gloss black get the headlights you get the Jaguar logo in the grill there very very cool gets a carbon fiber roof that looks pretty cool big giant wing on the back and there's all your rear details lights badging everything very nice this was from the uh, the talk series that looks really really cool uh, let's get going let's get going uh, let, let's open one. Let's just open. How about we just open one? I'm going to open up the 69 Copo Camaro in the Falcon Race livery. Wow. From this speed graphics series. How cool does that card art look? And I think everybody is a bit of a fan of the Camaro. And 
I think this looks fantastic in this Falcon livery. Let's open it, let's open it. Enough talking about it, let's just open it up. Cool, no headlights on this one, but the grill and headlights uh, in the casting look very, very cool. That looks really nice. Let's see, you got that lime or mint green kind of color into a light blue. Very cool with the gradient going back there in the colors. Nice chrome wheels, five spoke wheels, number 88 on the side, some racing sponsors, Falcon tires, and a little tiny ducktail spoiler. No rear painted lights, but a very cool looking casting nonetheless. Big fat tires in the back there, they're huge. Very cool. And that color is really, really nice. A little bit of packaging rub on the top there. I wish I'd noticed that when I bought this, I would have grabbed a, a different one to open. Or oh, I would have grabbed a different one if I'd found a second one. I should always look a little bit more. All right, what do we got next? Ooh, the 68 Mustang. This was in a black color before. Same detailing, same uh, tempo scheme. This is just in a, what would you call that? Like a, a sand, a sand kind of color. It's the closest I could think of. Yeah, it's like a sand. It comes with these gold five spoke wheels, the giant engine in the top there. Very, very cool. You get the side exit exhaust. And this is from the Tune series, so it is a little bit over the top. But for me, uh, being Australian, being a big fan of the blower cars, and uh, if you've seen any of our cars at Summonats, this is actually a very cool representation of a car you would probably see at Summonats, although it's a little bit uh, fatter and shorter than a real life one, but that engine on the top there, that is something you would 100% see in Summonats. If you haven't seen Summonats, that's Australia's burnout party. We have one every single year. Be sure to go online, check it out. Check out Summonats uh, previous videos and you can see what it's all about. We do not muck around when it comes to our burnout cars. <laughs> so yeah, next up, the 87 Dodge D100. And this is in a Hot Wheels race team livery. That looks pretty cool as well. Number one of 10 from the race team series. Let's just open this one as well. Let's just open this one. Don't really have too many to open today. There's only a few cars left, but we'll go through and we'll have a quick look. This has the race livery with the orange, red, and white tempo theme. Get your checkered flag going through there too. Number one, Goodyear Dodge. It's really cool off-road tires. Spare wheel on the back, get your roll cage. It's a, uh, a flat matte blue, blue color. Very nice. And the uh, trophy truck theme. So really, really cool. I do like this. It has the bull bar on the front or the bash bar on the front there. Uh, no painted headlights, but the casting itself looks really cool. We get a scoop as well. Get your spotlights on the roof. That is really, really cool. I do quite like that. I do like that one a lot. And you know what? Let's open these. Let's just, let's just, let's bring these back. Let's bring these back. Let's bring these back. We're just gonna open them. We're just, we're just gonna open them. We're gonna redo the mystery box and we're gonna have a nice close look at some of these extra cars. Magnus Walker Outlaw, very cool. Porsche logo on the front there. As we said, we get the lensed headlights on the front there. Very nice to see these gray five spoke wheels. Then you get 277, the Urban Outlaw, GB for Great Britain. You get the Porsche logo and Porsche along the side there in the racing stripe. Hot wheels on the back there. Look at that giant wang on that. That's enormous. Around the back there, we have those lens tail lights. Nice dark smoked window. Very nice. This side is the same as the other side. We get a little bit of a fuel filler cap there by the looks of it. Wow. It even has a little extra strip along the roof, along the windscreen there. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Kind of like a, uh, a little sun, sun visor, sun blocking area. All right, let's go and have a look at the 68 tuned Mustang. 
All right, there we go. This one has a blue window, big giant engine out the front. Absolutely awesome. Really nice uh, casting on the grill there. That looks really good. There's black splitter down there. Gold five spoke wheels, number 16. A lot of racing sponsors on the side there. Matthias Motors. On the back we have the cool lights cast into the into the actual casting itself. Really cool. And that sand color. And this does not have an interior. There is no interior in the 68 tuned Mustang. Uh, the black one which we opened a few weeks ago. The first version of this also had no interior. So it's a little bit strange that they don't put an interior into that. All right, let's just get into it. We'll get into the, the Jag SV Project 8. Got all these cards piling up next to me. Get rid of that. There we go. As you can see, that is kind of like a carbon fiber roof effect there. It's just a plastic piece, but the way it's done kind of looks like carbon fiber. Got these weird fi uh, these weird wheels that I'm not a big fan of. Really, really, really dark black on this left-hand drive. We do get the nice looking headlights. They look great. You get the Jag in the front there. It's so hard to show all of the details on a black car. A giant wing. All the details get lost into the reflections. As you can see, we get some lighting and some more logos in the back there. So that is very, very cool still. All right, what else do we have? Ooh, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, let's go, we'll start with, we'll start with this one. We'll start with this one, how about that? This is the new Hot Wheels Premium set. What set is this called? Ah, Thrill Climbers. And there's the cars that are in this set. Still looking for these ones. Uh, we do have these ones here to look at today. There's the base, uh, back of it if you want to look at that. And here we have the Volkswagen IDR. And this is incredibly cool. Absolutely incredibly cool. I think this is an electric race car. Not entirely sure. But you get those chromed Chrome and black aero disc wheels, number 94 on the side. The R logo on the side, really nice white and black combination. Single seat in the center, Volkswagen logo, and number 94. And you get no painted details in the rear. Nothing painted in the rear. So you do get a little bit on the front, a little bit on the top and also no headlight detail. So that's actually a very minimal tampo scheme for this car. That, that has very, very few tampos. So not too sure what they were doing there. Let's put that guy up there. And the other one from this same set is the Lancia 037. And it's a, it's a, what model is this one? It's not the Integrale, it's the... I can't recall exactly what particular model this one is. Got some pretty cool looking wheels, just in the silver. Really awesome detailing on the front there. Lots of headlights and lighting detail. You get the, the Lancia logo in the grill in the center. Really nice black and orange racing stripes down the side, number 37. You get Pirelli, Bilstein, Lancia logo, Pirelli again. Wow. Lancia racing on the rear wing. And what does that say? I can't, I can't quite read what that says. Maybe somebody in the comments, if they can, if they can read that, because I can't. Oh, it just says Lancia. There we go, just says Lancia. <laughs> anyway, we'll go around to the back here. See all the lighting details. You get Pirelli on the back there too. You get the exhaust pipes are all painted up. Nice details and the rear grille. Just a very, very cool looking casting. 
That's awesome. That is really, really awesome. So I hope to find these other ones from this set. Porsche 934.5 will be a cool one. Audi Sport Quattro, now that would be a really cool one to find as well. And the RS200, well, what a great set. What a really cool set. These, these four cars are really, really cool. They're really cool. And the Volkswagen ID-R is absolutely incredible as well. It's just absolutely futuristic looking car. That's just, that's a really, really cool looking set. So you'll have to let me know if you found that yourself anywhere. Next up is an Auto World. And this is a Toyota Supra, one of 14,104. And as you can see, it's a 1993 Toyota Supra with all the really, really nice details. True 164, authentic style wheels. It's in super white and some extra information on there as well. Lensed headlights, very, very nice to find. Just, I didn't, I honestly, I didn't know that Auto World did these uh, Japanese cars. I thought that Auto World did American cars only because that's, that's all I have so far from the Auto World and Johnny Lightning Rangers is just American cars. Okay. Now I'm going to get rid of this box because we don't need the box anymore. There's only a few things left to go. It's only a short episode today. Um, but we have some new Fast and Furious cars. Like, awesome. I went to the shops the other day, did not expect to find anything. And then I found these. Uh, we don't have number one, so we'll start from number two and we'll have a look at the back on this as well. Now this is really cool. This is the Fast Stars series. Brand new set for 2021 with the Fox body Mustang and 92 Ford Mustang in this beautiful, beautiful teal color. Teal cyan style color. All your headlights and everything on the front there. Get your racing stripe on the bonnet. Some really, really nice wheels. I do like those wheels and all of the rear lighting detail on the back there. Just a really cool looking set. Kind of hard to see the base on that. Uh, but we'll have a look at the back. This is from the new Fast Saga movie, Fast and Furious number nine. And we are only missing the Mitsubishi Eclipse. Now uh, we do have the Cherokee Trackhawk, Charger and the Hypersport. Just awesome. There's the uh, back if you want to get some extra information off that. But what a cool looking car to start with. I have to say that this set looks like it's going to be one of those ones which is uh, going to be hard to find all of the cars for because this is a really, really nice set. They're all in street versions except for the Mitsubishi Eclipse. That's just in that Fast and Furious theme. The rest are in just a regular clean livery. Uh, next up we have the Jeep Cherokee Trackhawk. Or the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. There's those really cool wheels. I like those wheels. Get all the painted details of the grille painted up and everything on the front there. Beautiful, beautiful metallic grey colour. On the back there we have all those details nicely painted down there as well. That is really nice. That's two really, really nice cars. Really cool card art as well. Has a sunroof and everything. That's awesome. That is awesome. I'm going to keep going along. Next up, we have the Dodge Charger, another fan favorite. Uh, not too much painted details on the front there. Uh, seems to have one of those phantom grills where all the lights and everything are hidden behind the grill. Nice, uh, what would they, like a, uh, a bronze five spoke wheel. On the back there, we have the same, that RT logo in the back. Chrome detailing around the window and with the door lock, that's really nice. And in the back, is that an engine in the back? What on earth is in the back there? But I have no idea, I have no idea what that is in the back. It looks like there's an engine in the back. Wow, I'm gonna have to hurry up and watch the Fast 9 movie just to be able to find out. What on earth is that? That's so strange. So strange. Let's move this guy over to here, actually. There we go. Get them into the picture a little bit better. Um, 
nah, the last car of the mystery box today from the Fast Stars Fast and Furious set is the Lycan Hypersport. And wow, wow. I have this in the 130 second scale uh, Fast and Furious collectible. And I have it also in another scale uh, somewhere else as well. So having a nice premium Hot Wheels version is really, really cool to get. Those new wheels are on this as well. Beautiful, beautiful red paint job. Really nice, deep, metallic red. You can get that crazy design over the top there. All your headlight details and your grill. Everything's painted up there too. Wow, that crazy wing. It's just such a futuristic design. I absolutely love that. That is really cool. Really, really cool. And it's a W Motors Lycan Hypersport. Wow, that is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. All right, let's get these guys up there. Get those guys where we can see them. All right, and then the, that's it. Uh, no, it's not completely it. We do have these couple of things off to the side here. So, uh, found the brand new Hot Wheels Zombies 5 pack. So we'll be doing this review this week, so be sure to come back later in the week and we will be able to open this up and have a good old look at it. Just a very, very strange looking pack. Everybody likes zombies, I'm sure. I'm sure everybody's enjoyed a zombie movie at least once in their life. Um, here's the cars that are in it. Four by Chevy Blazer 4x4, Cruise Bruiser, 2015 Ford F-150, Stingrod 2 and Tomb Up and very cool looking card art. I do like that. Cruise Bruiser looks like it fits very well into this theme. So yeah, be sure to come back later on this week and we'll check out the Hot Wheels Zombies 5-pack. And the last thing, finally, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, I was finally able to pick up my box of Johnny Lightnings. I went into the store, they were restocking. As you can see, the top of the box has already been ripped open. Um, I saw the cars that were in this and was like, hey, can I just grab that box back? And I took all of the cars off the shelf and put them all back into the box. So what we're going to do, we're going to, let's get this out of the way. Let's get this out of the way. So let's have a good look at these. Let's have a good look. All right, now I can throw the box away. Don't need that anymore. Okay. As you can see, there is actually some really cool cars. Really, really cool cars in this set. There we go. Absolutely awesome. Very low number, 2,500, wow. There we go, have a quick look. Put these off the side. Let's just have a quick look. This is a Buick, one of 2,500 cars. Desert Gold Poly. 1970 Buick GS Stage 1 and as you can see this has all the all the details painted you even get the vinyl roof there's also have the opening parts opening bonnets just authentic wheels uh, yeah you'll hear me go on about it again I absolutely love the fact that in Australia we're now getting the Johnny Lightnings at Auto Worlds um, incredibly incredibly good cars I really really like these uh, next up, also a really number, really low number, 3,748 in Glacier Grey Poly is the 1965 Chevy Impala SS. Once again, authentic wheels, all of the details, those really cool lights in the back there. And this is the pillarless part there. There's no actual window pillar or door pillar, I should say. Really cool, some extra information there you can read if you like. Let's have that back up for a sec. There you go. Extra information you can pause and read if you like. Next up, we have one of 2,500. That's, these are such low numbers. Oh, wow. Can't believe that there's only that many of these in the entire world. Bright green poly. Wow. Black bonnet, white roof. Super B on the back. And 1969 and a half Dodge Coronet Super B. Wow! Now this is awesome. That looks really, 
really cool. Get a two-tone interior and everything. I do like that. I do like that a lot. Uh, we'll do this way first. We also have another very low number, one of 2,500. Now we did look at the extra information on that, didn't we? There you go, pause and read that. And you can pause and read that. Bright blue poly. The 1971 Dodge Charger Super B. Wow. You get your racer, black racer stripe going along the side there. Just absolutely incredible the amount of detail that are on these. Very nice. These are all available for $12 each at Kmart Australia. So if you live in Australia and you have a Kmart near you, why don't you go down and uh, try and find yourself some because if you can find them, the detail on these Johnny Lightnings is absolutely worth it. Absolutely worth it. Uh, one of 3,508 Emerald Turquoise Poly, 1967 Chevy Chevelle SS. Wow. Chrome bumpers, all the details, all the chrome trim. Just absolutely incredible. And with the opening bonnets there, we get the, all of the engine detail, which looks absolutely incredible. And the last car is the 1964 Ford Thunderbolt, Bill Lawton Tasker Ford. Oh wait, sorry, extra information you can read if you wish. I'm pretty sure we did that one, but we'll do it just quickly again. Extra information. All right, let's get into this one. One of 3,508. Extra information there. And vintage burgundy poly. And that is such a nice deep burgundy color. Once again, we get all the chrome details, all the lighting details, all the badging. Gold roof on this. Really cool card art. The front details there. Just wow. And what a way to end off the show. Let's move that guy out of the way. Put this guy here. There we go. All right, and that does it. That does us for another week, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. I'm really, really, really happy to find, find these cars. Uh, it did cost a fair amount of money buying these at $12 each, uh, but I had, to, I had to get them. I had to get the store to put them on hold for me. Uh, paid off a little bit of money each week, and I was finally able to get them. So yeah, uh, very cool uh, Thrill Climbers set, I think they're called. What was it called? What were they called? Yes, Thrill Climbers. Very cool to get that cool Supra. And I'm going to just, I'm just going to end it there. I'm just going to thank everybody for joining. I really hope you all enjoyed. Uh, yes, a thousand subscriber competition will be coming up very shortly by the looks of it. So make sure you uh, comment, like, subscribe, share, tell your friends, tell you, tell you everybody you know to hurry up and join the Fex Death. Uh, YouTube channel. Oh, that reminds me. I wanted to, I was considering changing the name of the channel. So uh, put down in the comments below some good ideas for a, a new channel name and my, maybe possibly I will, I will change this channel to uh, what you guys choose. So yeah, that'd be pretty interesting. I've got a couple of ideas of, of uh, new channel names in my head, but I, I want to hear it from you. Should I change my name at all? Or should I just stay as myself, just showing all my additions into my collection as we go. I don't, I don't, I don't know guys. And that's why I need you guys to help me. So I'll leave it with you guys for a week. If you come up with any really cool names that I might like, then put it in the comments. So until next week, take care of yourselves guys. I will see you all next week. And yeah, definitely, definitely close to a thousand subscribers. Very, very excited. So thanks guys. I'll see you all next week. Bye.